knee cartilage restoration is a um, part of orthopedics that is developing very rapidly. So biologics in general, and the idea of utilizing um, those those sciences to restore tissue in the human body is, is up and coming. From my standpoint as a sports medicine doctor, working with younger athletes, cartilage lesions are something that we have to deal with pretty regularly. And honestly, as a sports medicine society and as a group, we haven't found the right answer for everything. And that ranges anywhere from starting with abrading the cartilage, which is where you go in and you basically shell out the area that's diseased and uh, identify portions that are stable borders and then allowing that to heal in with fibrocartilage, which is not as good as what you're born with, but it's a layer that can cover up the bone or the unhealthy cartilage. The next stage from that is for bigger lesions um, that are involved with what we call uh, grade four lesions, where bone is exposed. And in that situation, uh, we have technology called MACI, which is uh, matrix autologous chondrocyte implantation. And essentially that's where we take it's, the downside of it is that it's two surgeries. You have to go in, you harvest cartilage off of a non-weight bearing surface, and then that is grown onto a matrix, which is then re-implanted into the joint. And in order for that to be highly functional, we have to make sure that the stability of the knee is within normal limits, that the alignment of the knee is within normal limits, and that uh, the meniscus is intact, okay? So it, it definitely, uh, funnels down to a very narrow patient population that this technology works in, that we've seen that it works. Other people have very focal cartilage injuries, and um, those can involve the bone underneath the cartilage called the subchondral bone. And um, with regards to that, we do something called osteochondral allografts or osteochondral autographs. So that's a fancy term for cartilage layer, a bone layer, and then whether it's from a cadaver or from your own tissue. And that has to do with the size of the lesion and what we need to do. But on top of those technologies, which have been around for a long period of time, we're now exploring biologics. So utilizing bone marrow aspirate concentrate to um, uh, allow healing and to induce healing of that bone matrix of the cadaver back into the, your own bone, or to stimulate cartilage healing in that region. Platelet-rich plasma is another technology that our other primary care doctors use very regularly, but we also use it in the OR for these problems. And then there's also products out there by other companies that are utilizing cadaver-based um, bone layers and cartilage layers that you don't have to go in and harvest in order to have your own tissue. You know, you can utilize another tissue. All those surgeries are very interesting and developing and something that I do on a regular basis for a young population, but it's also a very small sub subset of patients that that is um, a qualifying surgery for. Cartilage restoration in the right person is an appropriate surgery and can save your knee and preserve your knee through a longer period of lifetime. Um, and I think that's something to understand is it's a very, um, highly technically uh, challenging surgery. And oftentimes we have to do other concomitant surgeries alongside of it, like realignment bony osteotomies, where we shift and move the bone, uh, ACL reconstructions, meniscal transplants. Um, and those all go in line to help restore the cartilage and preserve your knee. But in the right young patient, it is uh, definitely a, a surgery that's functional and useful.